So I mentioned when Ashlyn uh, was going to come back, we were going to talk a little bit about what you need to be doing with your body. There seems to be a bit of a rumor going around that you shouldn't be working out when you're trying to have a baby. Now Carter here is going to be demonstrating some exercises. Yeah, exactly. Because actually you do need to keep your body fit even before uh, when exactly. you think about getting pregnant. It's yeah. so important. You're thinking about getting pregnant, you want to start the exercise now. You want to have your exercise routine already happening before yeah. you get pregnant. So biggest thing when you're when you're trying to get pregnant is you got to keep the exercise light to moderate right so marathon running CrossFit this is not the time no. you want to keep your intensity about six to seven out of ten um, would be the highest you want to go and you want something that'll fit into your schedule so mm -hmm. whether that is jogging classes whatever it is just mm -hmm. something that fits in your schedule really well so Carter yes. um, is gonna show us some lunges so lunges are wonderful so she'll just okay. do a couple here Carter has wonderful form you'll see her knee right over top of her ankle yeah yeah and then her shoulders are right over top of her hips. Lunges are great because they work the core, they work the legs. If you had a little person or some weights at home, you could hold them out in front of you and do little twists um, as well while you're doing your lunges to kind of get full body. Okay. But bottom line for exercises is important. Start it now and something that is going to fit into your schedule is the biggest thing. And we're going to post, I think, on um, the City Line website some yeah. other exercises also. Absolutely. So that you'll know how to stay fit and not be worried about having any problems with the baby. Yeah. Come on yeah, over come here. On. Here's what you need to know about Carter before we show some <laughs> acupuncture. Yeah. Carter just had a baby herself. Yes. And I'm imagining you stayed fit throughout the whole pregnancy, didn't you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> She's like, kind of. I tried. It's, it's tough, yeah. but you know, you do what you can. and whatever you're comfortable with so it helps it helps you lose the baby weight a little bit quicker afterwards exactly. as well as you can see because how old's Big your baby he is seven months oh yeah. and he's such a cutie he's so adorable cute. okay so let's talk yeah. acupuncture now so right before oh, we do there he is there he is what's his name Salem Salem so adorable I'm gonna kiss that belly <laughs> oh I'm gonna kiss that belly yes so right before we talk about acupuncture, so oh my cute. goodness, so cute. Oh my god, he loves it. Okay, one, sorry. No, one, one other thing I want to do is yoga. Yoga is so oh, yeah. wonderful. Huge. Yeah, but while before you get pregnant and then during pregnancy. So yeah. all the poses are great. They open up the hips. What we're going to talk about now is the breathing. Trying mm. to get pregnant is stressful. You're mm -hmm. reading pregnancy it tests. You're be. tracking your cycle. Yeah. So what we want to do is techniques to help you relax. So Carter's going to show us here some belly breathing. Okay. One hand on her chest, one hand on her belly. Watch her belly hand. She breathes really deeply into her belly. Nothing's happening in the chest. What this does switches the nervous system. So it turns turns off that stressful fight or flight, gets you relaxing, calms mm -hmm. you down. So maybe this is what you do while you're reading your pregnancy tests. Um, when you're having a really stressful day at work, that type of thing is so great. And these breathing techniques will help you throughout your pregnancy and your labor as well. It would help you throughout your yeah. life, actually. If things get stressful <laughs> at work, you need yes. to know how to do the breathing. The breathing is so important. Awesome. Okay, so let's do some acupuncture here. So Carter's going to lay down. So acupuncture is wonderful. You can use it if you're getting pregnant naturally, or if you're doing fertility treatments, it's so great. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try a couple of points here on Carter, which are common points that we use to help promote fertility. Um, and acupuncture, the basic premise behind it is that we're trying to improve the energy flow in the body, and it's by stimulating specific points. Now these points that I'm doing, spleen six and kidney three, mm -hmm. these are some common acupuncture points that we do for fertility, but everyone's points are gonna be a little bit different based on, the, based on the woman and based on her cycle and how she's feeling and all of that stuff. Carter, did you do acupuncture uh, throughout your pregnancy? I did, um, and I believe it was during the labor as well. Yeah. During labor as yeah. well. Yeah. So Ashlyn, you were there for her labor. I was. Which was... you said was beautiful. Were you sticking so needles good. in her for her labor? <laughs> were you that a, girl? I did a few, I was you that girl, a... Tracy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did a few points for her to help with pain management. And acupuncture mm -hmm. is so great. You can do for almost anything, okay. but it's so wonderful. And Carter, is it scary? Is it painful, stressful? No, no, no I don't feel anything actually. So relaxing. And so this is not like getting a needle at your doctor's office nothing right. like that yeah it's um it's you can barely even feel the needles so so yeah. many natural things you want to look into you if, if you are trying to get pregnant right now thank you so much and thank, thank you. you congratulations <laughs> and this is still your son i love that boy let's go to break more coming up